Oh, hi, Taryn here with Elegant Upgrades, and we're doing a quick thrift haul because I did get painting, and I thought this has been kind of fun doing all these little things. So I went to three shops. The first one is just a little one up by my parents' house. She has really great prices, usually. Um, I got this little wall pocket thing, um, $2. And then I got another bread box, $1. And it's actually in better shape than the other one that I had. I'll show you guys the other one. It's looking good. It's not done yet, but it's looking good. Okay, then I went to Goodwill. Um, it's my least favorite here. I think it's, I like the one in Portland quite a bit better because it's the outlet, the one in Portland, but the one here, the prices are usually pretty high, but I can occasionally find stuff. So that's kind of what I did. So there I got eight items and then it averaged out to be about $3.87 each. It's fine. $3.87. It's okay. Not, not my favorite. Um, I did pick up this. Uh, it's seasonal, so it won't be sold now, but I picked it up because it's all attached together. It will obviously get painted. I am excited about this guy. Look how cute he is. Little squirrel. Um, yeah, he's going to get painted. Mostly, I don't actually hate the way he is now. It's just he has a lot of chips. So up here is a chip and the tail has a couple chips. Otherwise, I'd consider leaving him, but he'll probably get like the stone look. Then I got bamboo cutting board, which are not my favorite. I usually don't like to get bamboo. The only reason I picked this one up is because it was small and I liked the shape of it. Um, I don't like bamboo usually because it splinters and I just, it's not my favorite material. I will always pick up a wooden one, obviously if it's the right price. This one has um, little trees in it. Let's see if I can cover my face and you can see it. Uh, yeah, so the trees are super cute. This will need to be sanded, so I'll sand it and I'll see what needs to happen from there. Then marble cutting board just yes all the way and it's got the little leather strap this thing is so heavy i don't know that i'd feel comfortable hanging it from the leather strap but it has the nice little pads down here or on the counter so i think this is just a great i don't know i kind of love this one i might might keep it out here in the guest house uh no it's fine i'll sell it Okay, these I was very excited about, and I think they're just lovely. I got, I found three of them. They look like little art pieces. Is that upright? Yeah. They're Garden Whispers by Larry K. Martin, and they're like plate number limited edition. These are plates, and they have this um, like wooden frame. I've never seen them with a wooden frame. It's always like those cheesy metal wire situations that hang on the wall. But these have cool frames. Um, the top feels very plasticky, but the back looks like wood. So I don't know if it's just the finish that they have on it. Anyways, the frames are getting painted, but I think the actual plates are lovely because they just look like art. They don't look like plates hanging on your wall. But yeah, I really like these. Um... If they don't sell, they'll go in the guest house because I think they'll fit. Oh, this one's called Wings of Grace. And this one was called Delicate Splendor. Yeah, uh, super cute. I really liked these. And I felt like $2.99 was a good price. One of the frames, these two are exactly the same size. All the plates are the same size. But this frame is just a smidge bigger. So I don't know if you did it, you'd want to like do middle situation and then do two offsets if you i don't know i just thought it was interesting that they were all kind of the same thing but one was larger then at the salvation army which is one of my favorites here it's really sad since covid uh a lot of my favorite thrift stores here are done like they're not alive anymore which is just very very sad um but anyways so the salvation army i do find quite a bit of stuff there this one I found 12 items and they averaged out at $1.47 an item, which is way better than the 3.87. dollars 
I know these prices sound low, but oh, I forgot. I got another frame from this one was from not the Salvation Army, but I thought this was pretty. Uh, it's going to get painted and then I'll let some of this come through. Okay, now we're on to the Salvation Army and I got a frame there. This one is super cute. I've actually, I passed this one by the last time I was getting frames, but I sold quite a few frames already. So I'm just picking up a couple more. I want to say I sold four, four, for whatever reason, frames are going right now. No, I sold more than four. Sold six. Uh, yeah, so frames are a big deal. And I don't know that I need to do anything to this one. It's kind of like blue with a white wash or like a white wax look. It's not white wax. This is how it is. It's um, kind of like the terracotta feeling. So I kind of like it how it is. Probably leave that one. Um, they had quite a bit of this faux, the faux copper molds there. They had a few of like the really pinky ones. I don't love the super pinky ones, but these ones are all the way through, which I appreciate. Um, and this one is like an acorn. And this one, I'm not sure, wants to be an acorn, but not quite. Can you see that? Anyways, I'll sell these two together. Okay, I'm probably the only person that still uses one of these, but I love tissue boxes because, well, I have a small child. <laughs> Lucas, I swear, he's has a cold of some kind. He has allergies, so we're always going through tissues. And if you, this is just a fun thing. We go through these a lot. Okay, the Puffs Plus with the Vicks. You guys, if you don't like the smell of Vicks, you will hate these. But if you do and you like like that cooling sensation, best tissue ever. It's lovely. Um, I do have another favorite. It's called Pocket, and they're the lavender scented ones. And oh, those are my favorite. But yeah, these are these are definitely the ones that I buy on repeat all the time. And that's the size box that fits into my tissue box, which you guys know I painted and made over. You had to have known that, right? Um, anyways, so this is for like the longer, skinnier boxes. Um, we're going to do something fun with this. I could be the only person, again, alive now who's not my grandma that still uses tissue box covers, but I love them. I think they're so fun. This just cute little candelabra situation. Um, it takes the mini candles. So I think I'm going to find some of these because I think they might be hard to find. I don't know. Maybe I'll check out the dollar store and I'll let you guys know if you can find them there. But yeah, I'm going to load these up with candles first. Uh, most of my brass is gone. You guys know I've been trying to find more. Cute little trumpet brass candle holder. I wish there were two of these. There was only one, but I think one's fine too. So cute. And you got to get a chicken. It's just... It's just a thing. It's where we're at now. So copper chicken. And of course it has the little hanger up here. Obviously nothing's happening to the brass or the copper things. So these guys though, I thought they were super cute. This one is more of a brassy look. This one has more of a copper. They're embossed. Yeah, these are getting painted. Uh, the metal themselves is not great on its own. They're really clean on the inside. But they're going to get painted, and then I'll just stress through to the metal. I think they'll be similar to the 10 plaque that I just did. So. And then these two, well, I actually passed these up the last time that I was there. And I'm pretty sure the price went down. And it's been a while since I've been there. It's been a couple weeks, and these were still there. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get them. I'll fancy them up and see what happens. They've got, like, that terrible faux green marble countertop look 80s or 90s not great we're gonna fancy them up these seem a little bit loose so i'm probably gonna have to re-glue them and get them put back in but that's what we do right fix things up make them awesome just hang out there this i'm actually saving for something else um I want to do like one of those tea sets. You guys, do you watch Tracy's Fancy? Uh, she does these marvelous tea sets and I think they're so cute. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do it <laughs> how she does it. Um, 
but I just love that idea of, sorry, I'm probably blinding you. I love the idea of having like a sweet little matching tea set. And I was actually looking for, I sold all my little silver teapots that I had, which make me sad now because I really want one for in here, but I digress. Anyways, that's it. That's it for the thrift haul. So I hope you enjoyed. We are going to go through these in the next video or two and get them all painted up, ready for the website. If you guys want any of this stuff, um, when it becomes available or any of the past stuff, you can shop at uh, elegant-upgrades.com. I really appreciate that you guys do. It's amazing. I can't believe it that I just, I don't know. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for following along. I really appreciate you and I will see you next time.